Hello and welcome back to another episode of HVAC System Design with the channel of the World of Building Design. My name is Babak, I'm your host. In this tutorial, I would like to share with you some information about a uh, single zone HVAC system uh, where we have to look at the uh, schematic of the HVAC or air handling unit uh, for a single zone uh, condition. We'll look at the heating and cooling and we'll review what are the cycle uh, in the psychrometric chart. So we're um, looking at the entire cycle of the air distribution and when it's heated and how this is transferred to the space and how it looks like on the psychrometric chart. As you remember from previous tutorials, uh, we discussed the psychrometric chart in very detail on how we have to analyze and calculate the heat content, whether it's latent heat or it's sensible heat, and what's the process that air takes uh, to, to get into different cycle um, uh, in an air, air distribution system. So in this tutorial, we're focusing on a single zone um, parameters and we look at the individual component of an air handling unit system and uh, in conjunction with a, a psychrometric chart and show uh, the air at its own condition at different points on the psychrometric chart. So as you can see in this very high level schematic, uh, we are showing a air handling unit with two fan. We have the supply fan here and we have the return fan. Um, so um, what's going to happen is that we have outdoor air coming into the unit and we have exhaust air coming out of the unit. So typically the, uh, the same volume of air coming in is exhausted out. So uh, we have a number of dampers. We have a mixing dampers in between where we have this number six and we have um, uh, the um, the heating and cooling coils, as you can see, we have a filter, we have a preheat coil. These are optional depending on the heating process you have. Sometimes you need to preheat and then provide the final heating uh, you know, after you add the humidification to the, to the air stream. And all of this sequences and the, the, the phases in the cycle for the air distribution are numbered here. So where the outdoor air is numbered as number one, after the air comes back from the return fan and mixes with the outdoor air is numbered as number two. So this is a mixture. Number two is a mixture of the outdoor air, untreated outdoor air, and the return air coming through this damper and it mixes with the outdoor air. And then um, after the preheating and humidification or potentially cooling depending on the mode of operation um, then uh, we supply this air to the room which is shown as number three there are some um, there are some uh, cycle in between which are not numbered here for example uh, after the air is mixed and heated or cooled there is a condition for air uh, before it gets into the supply fan because the fan motor itself adds additional heating to the air stream. So that, that's a condition where uh, you have a uh, colder temperature uh, after the mixture before the air stream passes through the fan. So that's something we will look at in the psychrometric chart. It's not showing as a separate uh, cycle number on the schematic. So now that we know like what are the number of fans and the components involved with a single air handling unit uh, in a serving one single serving zone, we can get into the uh, psychrometric chart to have a look at how the cycle works altogether. If you remember, we talked about the psychrometric chart in detail in the previous tutorial. You can refer to and watch those videos. So this is um, the the type of uh, cycles that you have to be able to build and draw on the psychrometric chart as an, as an HVAC system engineer or designer because you need to calculate very precisely uh, the um, amount of the heat rejected or absorbed um, via your heating coil or cooling coil to be able to size your heating coil or cooling coil uh, based on the condition 
uh, of the space you're designing for. So you have to account for the fan type and also calculate the heat, uh, heat rejection from the fan motor and all those kind of um, um, and consideration you need to to take to be able to uh, come up with a proper uh, coil for your for for sizing or sizing your coil uh, for for example in the cooling mode you need to know what is your sensible load what is your latent load these are all also depends on the parameters of the outdoor condition so let's look at the um, psychrometric chart very briefly here. As you can see, the number one is the outdoor air condition here, and uh, it's uh, basically um, you plug in your outdoor air condition. As you can see, the humidity, uh, relative humidity curve here is close to 40%, and then the temperature. If you come down directly this line, you would you would be able to see your. I can draw a line here. You would be able to see your. Um, uh, your uh, your dry bulb temperature for in this schematic. So I'm just going to highlight it on the bottom. So this if this is your outdoor air temperature, if you come down directly, you're staying somewhere around here. So this is basically um, something in, in range of 95 degree Fahrenheit is your outdoor condition. So that's what you plug in in your psychrometric chart. The other, the other room condition is this point, which you need to plug in into your uh, psychrometric chart, as we have discussed this in very detail before. It is very important to plug in your room condition or relative humidity of the room and also dry bulb condition of the room. So I directly come down to see what is the room condition. So the, the, the return from the room, as you can see, is showing as 85 degree coming up. So this is basically um, the return plenum condition. The room condition would be showing with the R uh, capital here. So let's come down here and see what is the room condition here. So as you can see, the condition of the room is uh, 75 degree 75 degree and what is the relative humidity here you just need to follow this curve and see what this curve is so this curve is it's still at 40 percent relative humidity so in fact what happens is that you have you have your condition on the return and you have your condition of your outdoor and the mixture of this two air stream between your outdoor and your return air as you can see here on this schematic the return air and your outdoor mixture gives you a new air stream temperature let alone the volume of the air also increases because you mix the outdoor air and the return air so the mixture temperature is something that you can easily calculate based on the ratio, based on the ratio of uh, the return air to the total air versus the ratio of the outdoor air to the total air. So if you bring, say, 20% of your total mixture, so that's going to be 0.2 or 20% of the outside, outside air, you simply multiply that by the temperature of the outdoor plus the ratio of your return air multiplied by temperature of the return and that gives you the temperature of the mixture and that temperature is something that you plug in here so if you come down directly from this line I'm going to draw a line here so if from mixture I draw a line directly down I'm standing on a temperature a little bit higher than 85 degree but less than 90 degrees so it's something in the range of 87 degree here so that's the mixture of my temperature here and from the curve you can 
uh, propagate the curve and uh, extrapolate and see what's the uh, actual um, relative humidity of the mixed air would be is between the 30% and 40% relative humidity so the other very easy step to do that is that when you plug the two number of the room and outdoor air if you consider this line and just plug a point based on the ratio from the return air or from the side that you have um, a higher percentage of the mixture you can you can easily get the point uh, in between so basically that's one of the only way to to find your mixture condition from the schematic or from the psychrometric chart directly. What it means is that if you, if you um, divide this line to five pieces or 20% in or to 20% each piece, uh, if you come down, as we said, the ratio of our outdoor air is 20% of the total air and you just get the 20% from the bottom here and that point will become your um, point for the mixed, mixed air. So if that outdoor air percentage was 40%, you might need it to go potentially to a point like here in this, in this location or something like that. So basically this is the line where you uh, find your uh, temperature condition of the mixed air it's somewhere on this line regardless so the temperature and the relative humidity will fall on this line okay that's that's something we need to know and once you have your mixed air condition that's where your heating or cooling coil comes into play but in this case we are looking at the summer design condition so we're looking at the cooling coil so once you have a mixture of air here, well, forgetting about the heating coil and the humidification, we just go directly to the cooling coil. And that's what you have to design for and you have to calculate your uh, cooling process and find out what is the cooling requirement. What is the sensible and latent heat that you need to calculate for. So. In this case, when you are on the mixed, mixed condition, you calculate the cooling process and the cooling process allows you to cool down the air stream to its saturation point after the passing through the cooling coil. And you see this point would be your cooling process. As you can see, this is going to be your total cooling process, QCC will be a combination of your sensible and latent cooling process. Once you have done the cooling in this point, uh, the air stream gets into the supply fan and heats up a little bit. And as you can see, this two dot basically is the process of um, the air gains some more heat after coming out of the cooling coil because it passes through the supply fan motor and gains more um, temperature or gains additional heat. And from this point on, the space adds additional heating uh, to the um, to the air stream, which we get into the point R, which is the room condition, and we need to achieve the room condition. So these are the the condition that you can plug in. Um, into your um, psychrometric chart and then work backward and understand what is that cooling temperature that you're looking for and what is uh, the cooling process you expect. And then, as you know, when the air comes back from the room into the dock work, there is additional uh, heat gain, which increases a little bit more heat into the air stream and takes you from this point R to point RP, which is the return plenum temperature of the air. And then that's where the temperature of the return uh, plenum 
gains a little bit more heat and gets into the return fan. So this is the point in the return fan, as you can see. So the air stream at point 4 is, is the return plenum temperature. You can go back and look at the number 4. So this is the room temperature and as it comes through the return plenum, it gains more temperature. And it gains more temperature and as you can see on the number 5 is where the return air passes through the return fan with additional temperature going now and mixes with the outdoor air. So that's basically an entire process of the uh, air handling unit and looking at it on the psychrometric chart, how this process works. And we have the same process, uh, slightly different for the heating mode or when you, um, you need to calculate your heating coil. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, it shows the heating condition. So the outdoor is on the left hand side. So you plug the outdoor condition. Sometimes your outdoor temperature might be even lower than 30 to 35 degree Fahrenheit as it's shown here. You need to basically ex extrapolate that to find based on the outdoor condition in your um, you know, local climate condition. And then you have your um, return air on the return plenum. So now you have to find the mixture that's, as I said, is based on the ratio of your outdoor versus the ratio of the total and ratio of the return to the total. So in this case, as you can see, the, the ratio of the outdoor air uh, and return is higher than 20. So as you can see, it's fairly closer to the middle point. So I would say in the range of 40% uh, outdoor air you have. And uh, once you figure out your mixed air condition or temperature or percentage, you can plug the mixed condition and then now you have to size your heating coil. And as you can see in the heating process, you don't have any latent heat gain because this line is a straight. And as you can see, we have the humidity ratio on the right hand side of our psychrometric chart. When you have a slope here going upward, it means that you're, you're gaining additional humidity or the water content of the air goes up. In this case, we don't add any humidity in here. As you saw in the schematic, it was optional. So we don't, we don't have any humidification in here. It's just the uh, direct sensible heat to the heating coil. We add and then we get into the point of the heating coil condition or past the heating coil. And then once the air passes through the supply fan, it gains a little bit more air, more uh, temperature, and it becomes supply fan condition here at 85 degree. So that's pretty much uh, on high level how the process in the heating or summer, cool, summer cooling and uh, winter operation on the psychrometric chart uh, can be displayed against the actual um, air handling unit uh, process. This is something you need to practice for the sizing. Uh, in the next tutorial, we can look at the VAV or variable air volume um, condition of the air handling unit and air distribution system. And as it ties into the uh, psychrometric chart, we can, we can demonstrate that on the psychrometric chart very schematically and see how that's different in the variable air volume system. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Press on the like button if uh, this is helpful to you and uh, share this video with uh, others who you think uh, might benefit from this videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial.